I'm Stevie Bobby. That's pronounced Bobby for all you people calling me Boweeby and Booby. Anyway, I'm Stevie, and today I'm going to teach you how to compliment girls. Okay, so something I've learned in the many years that I've accepted your questions is that y'all really want to know how to flirt. And here's the thing. I think that people are confused about flirting because people on TV are like straight or whatever, you know what I mean? And so the man just flirts by over complimenting and making the girl feel uncomfortable. Yeah, and like most movies, the guy just bothers the girl until she agrees to go out with him because he's bothering her so much. And she goes out with him to get him to stop asking her out, which like, are the straights okay? And also if you're raised in a culture like I was, they just tell you that you are to be pursued as a lady and it, the man is supposed to pursue you. But here's the problem, I don't like men. So the thing you do pre-flirting or part of flirting, if you will, or a type of flirting, I guess you don't always have to compliment to flirt, but I'm gonna teach you how to compliment as part of the equation of flirting. I think that the biggest mistake people make when they compliment is they just walk up to someone and compliment something that they don't have control over. So a lot of people, when you just walk up and say, you're so beautiful, they find it weird. First of all, beauty's on the inside, so how the fuck would you know? Second of all, I have literally no control over my face shape or my eye color or whatever. And do you really mean I'm beautiful or do you actually mean I would like to have sex with that? Because like, I'd prefer if you said that, you know? Third of all, I don't care what you think. I don't know you. And it's not like a conversation starter. Like, what am I gonna say? Someone walks up and says, you're beautiful. And what am I gonna say? I know. <laughs> like, so I think you should compliment them on something they have control over and that is a conversation starter. If someone says, hey Stevie, you have pretty eyes. I'm like, thanks. If someone says, I like your purple hair, I'm like, oh my God, we can talk all about my purple hair because I love my purple hair too. And let's talk about secrets of how to keep it purple for longer. You know what I mean? When someone compliments you on something that you also like, like your shoes or your purple hair or your sync t-shirt, it actually gives you something to discuss. Also, for some people, it would totally work to walk up and like say something sexual or like flippantly sexual. But I think for most people, it doesn't. I mean, unless, unless it's relevant to the situation, right? Like this is my wall of pussies. If you came into my house and said, I love your pussy wall, I'd be like, oh my God, I love my pussy wall too, you know? Or my four cabinets full of sex toys. Like if you started complimenting me on this or this or this, or this, I'd be like, yeah, I love all my sex toys too. And then I'd tell you the sponsor of our date is Adam and Eve. Deluxe harness kit with curved dong. Okay, but really the sponsor of this video is Adam and Eve and they did send me all these toys. Actually, they have filled two of the four cabinets full of toys. I send a lot of them to my patrons, but there's just so many. If you wanna have four cabinets full of sex toys or maybe try one out for the first time, Go to adamandeve.com and use the coupon code STEVIE. It gets you 50% off and free shipping to almost anything on the site, um, shipping to US and Canada. Also, if you decide to get like 10 dildos and like staple them to your wall, then you have a dildo wall and then people can compliment you on a dildo wall. Just saying. The most important, I said that earlier, but like I was lying. This is the most important thing about complimenting people, especially strangers is that you don't have expectations when you're going into it. Desires and expectations are different things. Like just because you walk up to someone and tell them their mohawk is sweet, it doesn't mean that they have to go on a date with you. You should only compliment something because you love the thing that you're about to compliment them on. You don't compliment someone because you want to fuck them or you want them to be your wife or even because you want to hear them say thank you. No one is obligated to say thank you or be your wife. And that is the biggest way to avoid being creepy is to not have expectations. So you walk up to someone and compliment them and they say, thanks, but I don't wanna talk right now. I wanna be alone. And then you say, no problem. And then you walk away and then you pat yourself on the back for respecting a human being's boundary, right? I used to not know that people liked compliments. <laughs> and so I just wouldn't. And then um, people didn't like me that much. And then I started complimenting people on things because I, I hear the compliments in my head. I'm like, wow, that's a really cool thing. Or like, it's really interesting that this person does this. Or like, wow, what an emotionally mature thing to think right now. I don't fucking know. But I didn't say them out loud. And then I was like, oh, people like it when you say it out loud. And then I was like, hey, therapist, why did I not know that people like compliments? And she was like, I don't know. Do people give you weird compliments? And I'm like, yeah, they fucking do. If people don't stop fucking complimenting me on being skinny, I swear to fucking God. Cause they'll be like, oh my God, you're so thin. Like you must work really hard. Or like, what are your dieting tips? Or like, wow, you're so lucky that you can eat anything and look that way. And I'm like, I'm literally sick. 
I can't gain weight. Also, thanks for making me think about that right now at this fucking Arby's. Like, Jesus Christ. So now I compliment my friends all the time. I love to tell my manager that he did a good job. I love to tell my friend Ash that they're so fucking talented as an artist. I love to tell people on a first date that they're super interesting, if they are, which I don't know. I think everyone's interesting in some way. You just like, if, if you don't think someone's interesting, you haven't found the thing that they're, that's interesting about them yet, you know? And now I found that complimenting people is fun and easy. And it's fun and easy because I'm only complimenting them on things that they have control over and they really like it. And I don't care what they say back to me because I just want them to know. Anyway, thanks for watching and being my patrons. If you're not one of my patrons, you should be because look at these sweeties that support me. They're so great. Thanks so much to Adam and Eve for sponsoring the video. Go to adamandeve.com to get 50% off almost any item and free shipping to the US and Canada with the coupon code Stevie. Anyway, leave me a compliment in the comments. Bye.